welcome back to January Jumpstart at Crystal's Body Shop. Today's workout is going to be Pilates using the stability ball. So if you're ready, then let's get started. We're going to warm up first. So bring your feet a little more than hip width distance apart. Engage the core. So pull that belly in towards your spine. Keep it nice and strong and stable in the whole torso area. All right, press into this ball with both palms. Inhale, lift it overhead. Exhale, we're gonna pull it down to our belly button, midsection. Inhale, lift it up. Exhale, pull it down. Inhale, up, stretch it up, up, up. Exhale, down. Inhale, it up. Roll it over. Bottom hand comes on top and we reach. And turn the ball over. Bottom hand comes on top and we reach. And turn the torso upright. Inhale the ball up. And bring it down to the floor. We're gonna push it out, extending the spine. Let your head fall between those arms. Inhale. And exhale, slowly roll it up, one vertebrae at a time. And push it back out, flat back. Inhale. Roll it up, one vertebrae at a time. Push it back out. One last deep breath in. Exhale, roll it up. All right, grab that ball. Feet are gonna stay right here, hip width distance apart. We're gonna push into this ball the whole time. All right, bring the ball over to the right. Engage that core. Now we're gonna crunch with that opposite knee. So take an inhale. We're going to exhale. Bring that ball to the outside of that knee. And up for two. Crunch for three. Ice. Follow the ball for four. Five. Inhale. Exhale. Crunch for six. Seven. We're going to do one more. Eight, land that foot softly, inhale, and exhale, we're going to switch sides, so feet are just hip width distance apart, press into that ball, pull it over to the left, look at the ball, inhale, and we're going to crunch, bring the ball to the outside of the opposite knee, inhale, exhale on your crunch. Four, five, crunch for the abs, the obliques, last one, inhale it up, and exhale it down, all right, now, gonna bring the ball to the right hip, bend that right knee, come up on your tippy toes with that left foot. All right, we're gonna turn the knee out, lift it back, pull it back down, cross it over, out, back, four, two, and three, whole hip rotation, four, core is tight the whole time, six, lift it back, squeeze the buttons, Seven. Last one, eight. We're gonna hold here and we're gonna do baby pulses. Four, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Drop it down, pop that knee back over, and walk 
take it out. Very nice. Switch the ball to the left. Come up on your tippy toes. Bend that knee. Balance on the standing foot. So just like in yoga, ground down through that standing leg. Engage the core. It'll help with your balance. We're going to cross the knee. Open it up. Lift it back for one. Cross it over. Turn it out. Lift it back for two. Three quarters tight. Five. Open it up. Six. Seven. Eight. We're going to hold. And baby holds it. For eight, seven, six, five. Balance. Three, two, one. Bring it down. Cross that knee over. And walk it out. Right. Drop your ball down. Inhale, arms overhead, deep breath in. Exhale, deflate. Inhale, fill up. Exhale, deflate. All right, we're gonna grab this ball again. Push into the ball. Engage that core. We're going to start with the left leg. Bend the knee up, lift it up, extend the leg out. Drop it down. Lift the knee up, extending the leg. Keep the core nice and tight. This is also working the lower abs. When you lift the knee, three more. Two more. Squeeze that core. Last one. Very nice. Switch sides. Balance on that left leg. Bend the knee. Engage your core. Lift it up. Extend it out. Pull it in and down. Four, two. Three. Lift the knee up. Push it out. Four. Five, ground down through that standing foot. Six, core tight. One more. Hand down. Walk it out. Press, down, press, down, 
Inhale it up. Exhale, drop your ball down. Hold it with your legs. Inhale. Exhale it out. Deep inhale. Exhale it out. Okay. We're going to come down, seated on the ball. All right, bring your feet hip width distance apart, arms come out in a T stand position. Reaching out of the shoulders, reaching from wall to wall, drop the shoulders back and down. Core is nice and tight. We're going to twist to the other side. Center, twist. Exhale, twist. Core is tight. Inhale to the center. Exhale, twist. Exhale, twist. One more. All right, inhale, arms overhead. down on our mat, on your knees, ball's going to come in front of you, knees are hip width distance apart, bring your elbows on your ball, palms come together, now we're going to roll the ball out, let our hips fall forward, Pull it back in. The further you go out, the more it ends. So it can be a small little movement, or you can fully extend your arm. But we're just going to stay right here. Keep the core tight the whole time. the whole front of those abs, the transverse abdominis, wraps around your midsection by your belly button, last time push it out, pull it in, very nice, now we're going to stand up, bring the ball to your shin, Walk over your mat or your wall. Bring your hands down on your mat and we're gonna walk ourselves out into a plank. So the ball can either be on the tops of your thighs or on your shin. So we're gonna hold here in plank, engage the core, work in the transverse abdominis again. Pull it in, in, in. Now. We're going to do a push-up. Inhale, exhale, bend the elbows. Pull them in towards your ribs, lower, and push away for one. Pull the elbows in towards your ribs, push away for two. One more time, inhale. Exhale, lower, and push away. Very nice. Pull that ball in. Do a knee tuck. Push it back away. And pull it in for two, slow and control, push away, one more time, pull it in, pull that belly button in, push away, very nice, now walk yourself back on your ball, be careful, push yourself up, roll up, Take an inhale, arms overhead. Exhale it out. All right, now we're gonna lay down on our ball for one more exercise for our abs. All right, we're gonna do a crisscross. So. 
that belly button, hold in the whole time. All right, press into that ball, hold it right over your head. Take a breath, engage your core, lift your head and shoulders up off the mat. Pretend you have an apple or an orange in between your chin and your chest, pull the knees in. We're gonna extend one leg, pointing that toe. And we're gonna bring the ball over to the outside of that thigh. Inhale it up, we're gonna switch. Inhale it up, switch. Just keep breathing. Keep that low spine planted down on your mat. Working the sides of that waistline again and the lower tummy, the rectus abdominis. Three, two, one. All right, ball comes overhead, pull the knees in. Inhale. Relax your legs down, stretch them out. All right, inhale, we're gonna exhale, pull that ball down towards our torso, inhale it back overhead. Stretch it overhead, pull it back down, keep pressing the palms into the ball. Inhale it back, exhale it up, inhale it back, exhale it up. One more time, deep breath in, exhale it out. Lay it down on the side. You can roll over to your favorite side. Push yourself up. Come up onto your ball in a seated position. Very nice. Inhale, arms overhead, deep breath in. Exhale them out. Now. Bring your hands down the side of your ball or your hips. Now, we're just gonna start with the right leg. We're gonna lift the leg out, pull it in, out, or two. Working the smaller muscles around the knee. Strengthening everything around the knee. Two more cords, still engaged. the hill away. Core is tight. Six, two more. Seven, and eight. Very nice. Take a deep breath in. Exhale it out. One more time. Deep breath in. Creating some space. Exhale it out. Very nice. I hope you enjoyed this workout. I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.